Alright. We just have Diddy Kong. Oh yeah, there's another indicator. Uh, you see these little icons have like these little crown things. Yeah, that actually indicates that we completed that level entirely, which means that we collected everything. Alright, so no intro cutscene for this one, so we get to pick which character. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Oh, I should have picked for Pit, I just remembered what this level was. Dang it! That was my bad. Yes, it was my bad. It was my bad. Um, another thing I should probably mention about Brawl is that they loved to remix this theme a lot. Like, seriously. Um, you're in Brawl, you, I think there's like at least eight different variants of this of the main theme. Which is a lot, needless to say. That's about as. That's actually a little bit more than how many son, how many variants of his world there were for Sonic or Six. Oh no. Oh, oh fudge. Um, I wonder if this will work. Uh, of course, it was a dud. No, it just had a delay. I hate it when ones have delays. Um, sometimes bombs or, yeah, sometimes smart bombs will have a delay or not even work. Uh, okay, these tickens can be a little bit annoying. Let's use the hammer for this one. Okay, what I like about this is like it's a nice little touch because it's actually sort of like a. It's not a really big animation because Bit was still an 8 big character at the time. There's a secret up here, by the way. If I know where it's at. Yeah, it's, the, it's somewhere up there. I don't know where exactly it's up there, but it's somewhere up there. It's like. Up on the top right corner. Oh, nope! Ouch! Okay, let's just head over. Here we're here. Avoid these. Okay, that glide didn't work. I never was good to glide at all. I always try to avoid it. It might be too OP for some, but I actually never was able to use it. So I actually avoided it when it was playing like characters like Mennonite or, you know, pretty much Mennonite Char Sword and um, Pit. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Okay, there is a... Okay, this actually is useful. Except not really, because this leaves me with one stock. Okay, let's just... Okay, now the thing is here, is that it's easier to wall jump up here than it is to try to use Pit and fly up here. I've done that before. Okay. Let's just grab this, because I need... Well, I don't really need the stickers. I'm not going to really care much if I lose whatever collectibles I collect. So, it's not a real big deal. Let's just get, well, like I said, it's not, I won't really care if I lose the power-ups or, you know, any of the stickers. It's just that I'm collecting them in case I do win this fight. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. And I just know what's going to happen. Yeah, this bit. This bit, I always needed to um, die first and lose, like, a bunch of lives before I end up having to pass it. Because I've done previous attempts on the attempts, but I never actually completed it. any of the runs. Oh! I reflected it with my cape. That's another thing you could do in Subspace Cemetery, because the AIs are not like human players. You can actually just reflect their projectiles if they have any. And you could dish out quite a bit of damage during intense mode. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work if you're... If it does, if it's actually, um... Oh, no, no! Oh my gosh. That was close. I'm probably not gonna make it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm seriously gonna try it. I'm not gonna just quit immediately. I'm just gonna give it a, give it a my all. There's still... A, that's the third round. Ah, jeez. 
I hate these Boboras, or whatever they pronounced. I really do. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, as Pit's side beam, for whatever reason, also reflects projectiles. I, I kind of forgot about that. Well, I didn't really forget about it, it's just something you don't usually remember. Okay, this is the bit that always kills me. And, wow. Because there's a bunch of enemies that I'm bad against. That focus punch! Oh, no! Give it my all! No! Give it my all! No! No, 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 no! This is gonna kill me! Holy crud, how is that not killing? How am I not dead? How am I not dead? No! 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 Oh, fudge! Okay, good. Oh no. This is this is intense. This is really intense. Oh no, there's one more. Come on. Oh you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh. That was close! That was close! Oh, that's from that one game. Oh my gosh, how in the world did I manage that? That was incredible! Seriously! So apparently TD Kong is some other spot in the jungle. And we're in the lake where... Rayquaza? Yeah, I think Pokemon fans are kind of confused of what exactly, why exactly Rayquaza is found in the lake. When he's usually found in the sky. And, well, hello. It is none other than Fox McCloud. Ah, your Dragon Pulse is not going to work. Okay. So, one thing I actually don't mind from this game over Brawl... Well, I actually like Fox's uh, redesign. Uh, but the thing is, is that Fox's gameplay is much lower. Not that to say that's a bad thing, per se. But the thing is, I was horrible with Fox in MLA because of those fast gameplay. Uh, the thing about Rayquaza, though, is that he has a ton of Pokemon attacks. I don't know what that attack is, I'm just gonna say it's like Tail Whip, he has Dig. Uh, he has like Dragon Pulse, that's what I like to call it. He has like Extreme Speed, I'm guessing that's Extreme Speed. Um, don't know what that is. It was pre fitgen so I can't say that's Dragon Tail. Ouch! I also don't know what that attack is. Rayquaza can be a little bit one of the harder bosses on intense mode, if you couldn't tell. Okay, that is, like, illogical, because I got a ray gun on my own. Oh! That was bad. Oh well, I got four lives to do it. Oh no. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, I was surprised I didn't that recalls it didn't break the shield. I'm surprised he hasn't done one of his other attacks. 
Um, when are you gonna use, like, Dunder or something? Because you usually use Dunder. Oh, oh, no, I was... That was bad. And this is gonna... Oh, wow. No, this is gonna hurt. That has a ton of knockback, as you couldn't tell. And you're gonna use Dig again. He's gonna come up from the ground twice for whatever reason. That makes no sense in a... Okay, third sense. That doesn't make any sense in a realistic pattern. Oh, no! Thunder! I, I, I think that's Thunder. I want to say it's Thunder. If not, it's Thunderbolt or something. Ha! Reflected! Extreme speed! Two... Three. When he's low on... When he also is low on health, he tends to use three attacks at the same time, like Extreme Speed or Dig. Okay, that did less damage than I thought it would. Oh my gosh! Yelch! Okay. Ha! Okay, that's gonna... Yeah, KO me. Oh well, Rayquaza is pretty much dead right now. Yeah! In the face! Whew. That was actually, uh... Took a longer than I thought it would. Also, kind of interesting to note that he... That Rayquaza's theme was actually, uh... A Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald theme, so I think that's actually kind of appropriate. I kind of just now noticed that. <laughs> Uh, that cutscene actually made me laugh because Fox does not want to go with Diddy Kong. <laughs> Even though Diddy Kong wants Fox to help Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay, so if you couldn't hear, yes, that's Bramble Scramble remix in the background. People, I remember back before Brawl was released, people saw the My Music option for the stage builder, and one of the music pieces they saw was um, this song. Bramble Scramble, or Sticker Bush Symphony as it's officially called. People freaked out about this song. Honestly, I think it was actually the first time I actually um, decided to listen to the original after hearing, oh well, they're gonna put the um, this song into Brawl. And I even got one sticker out of that. Oh, it probably was gonna contain a CD, that's another thing to note. I mentioned about the My Music option. You can have multiple songs in the arenas in the game. But the thing is, is that some of the songs are um, are locked, so you have to collect CDs during matches, or I think even in Switch Space Emissary, so yeah. I think that sticker was going to be a CD, but since I collected all the CDs, I didn't, it changed to a sticker. Wish it was a trophy, but whatever. Oh! Wait, what's over here? Is there even anything over here? No. That was a waste of my time. Giant Goombas can be a bit of a pain. They're easier to just jump on. These Auroras... Or... Auroras? Wait, is that really Auroras? I gotta check that. No, that's a Auroras, not a Auroras. That would be weird if it was. Because <laughs> this game predates uh, 6th Gen. Okay, I'm gonna avoid these guys. And phew. They they're peaceful when you don't wake them up, but seriously, they do a lot of damage when they're awake. Don't enter this door. Because entering this door would be bad. Can this mic die? Thank you. Fox. Okay, going down this door. And we go over here. This is not really a big maze, but it kind of gives you an indicator of how big these levels can be at times. For later on. Okay, a soccer ball is very useful in normal matches, but it's not too useful in social necessary. At times I feel like it's gonna go against you. That's actually a little bit more appropriate, just using a bomb for that. So, essentially, we went from there, and now, this opens. It's a little weird, 
little puzzle, but it works. There's also something else on that other side, but I'm not really gonna bother show it because I think it's just food. Oh yeah, you need to be on the other side. It's a weird thing that they decided to go for. Then again, Kirby Games have done this before, I think. Okay, Totos. They deal out a lot of damage. That's why you want to deal damage, well, attacks that have a lot of knockback. This ref goes faster on the intense mode. And also, you got a bunch of enemies to worry about. Red paratroopas. I'm surprised I'm s I was still alive then. Let me let in the door. Let me get in the door. Oh my gosh! How? Just no, 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 no! I did not deserve to get in there, in here. But whatever. I'll take it. I'll take the uh, trophies and the sticker. Though I think there should have been a stock in here, but I guess not. I guess I didn't need it, so it didn't give me one. Okay, now, the bullet bills here are pretty annoying to avoid. I'm surprised I avoided that batch. Oh, oh wow, I grabbed a trophy. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna just avoid the giant boom buzzers. Okay, there we go. Next part of the level, which is pretty short, mind you. Do I think I've died here before because I had low health? No! That's another thing. Fox's side B is also a recovery, so I can't actually recover during the air in case I'm going near a pet. <sighs> that was bad. Now I gotta do a little fight with Diddy Kong, which I'm not good with Diddy Kong. I'm better off with Fox. Wait, doesn't this respond by... Yes, it does! That's good. I was hoping it did that. Oh! Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm not good with Diddy Kong. I Normally, people would just spread banana peels all around the place. I'm personally not good with that. Okay, that was a spring. I kind of practice with high-leveled opponents, so I shouldn't have too much difficulties with Bowser. But you'll notice he's a little bit of a different color. Hmm. That's a little weird. <laughs> That's awesome. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's get this fight going. Wow. Go away! Wow, even if I didn't have any extra lives, I wouldn't need them. So, yeah. Good work, Diddy Kong, for defeating a clone of Bowser. A subspace clone, which is kind of weird. I don't get it either. They don't really explain that very much. Bowser is trying to get Diddy Kong to complete his collection. Collection with a K. Because you know how DK games are, they always have Ks for whatever reason. Don't know why Bowser was laughing, though. That makes no sense. Hmm. Would have been perfect if I had another Metal Gear esque trophy, but I guess I didn't. Remember. Fox! The Ruin Zoo is gonna be another long level, but. Hmm. Whatever. This level is fairly interesting to say the very least, because we get to play as Lucas, a character from Mother 3, which never got to see in the United States. Other than a fan translation version of the game. Which doesn't really count, because it's a fan translation, and you've got to play it on the PC, if I recall correctly. Unless you can purchase it online somewhere. 
So, what are we going to be doing here? A simple little, well, as we're going to be seeing right now. Trying to avoid this guy, which is basically a Porky statue. With Porky Steam going on in the background. I like Brawl's soundtrack, needless to say, other than the fact that they reused the Brawl Steam a little bit too much. I thought the remixes here were pretty unexpected. Even songs that I never really heard of before, I thought were pretty good. Like this Porky's theme, I really thought it was a pretty good song. Uh, Lucas plays like Ness, if you're familiar with how Ness plays out. Okay, this can be annoying because there's a Toto right here. And, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I almost went through the entire thing flawless if I didn't get hit by the silly primid, but whatever. As you could probably guess, yes, the this part of the stage does go slower on lower difficulties, so yeah. <laughs> eh, I thought I would I thought that would make it a little bit more appropriate because of this. <laughs> Cause Lucas I still wonder, how does that work? His leg Oh, I just don't get it. <laughs> eh, whatever. I never got it. I don't know how in the world his leg got caught when when Lucas went forward instead of backwards. Where is the twig? I'm just nitpicking on these smaller details, but still. We get to meet the one of the veterans, Ness. And in fact, this would actually... I don't know if this would be your first unlockable character. I can't remember, but that's the thing about Soul Space Emissary. You can unlock every single character in Brawl within this mode. <sighs> Let's play as Lucas. I am actually pretty bad with any of these two characters. Look how much damage Porky did, who would be also called Pokey in the Earthbound game. Which, by the way, is also available on the Wii U Virtual Console! Okay, the thing about Lucas is that his playstyle is very similar to that of Ness, except a little different. Okay, I hate this laser beam. It does so much damage. In fact, I hate Porky in general. In as a boss. This guy is really annoying. Nope. Well, that Porky bomb just launched me into space. Now I have to play as Ness. Which, by the way, I'm terrible with Ness. In fact, of the two, I'm actually better with Lucas. Look how much damage that did! Just from... You know, I just simply started the... Getting... Oh, great. This is gonna... <sighs> yeah. If you couldn't have guessed it, Porky is one of the more difficult bosses in on intense mode in subsequent Simulator. And of course, I shouldn't have done that. So now I'm stuck with. Oh great! No! 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 Okay, I gotta live. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a game over. No! 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 Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, oh, okay, this is what the game over sequence looks like, then. Continue. Uh, Norm, if you actually had any stickers, they would fall down with you, so yeah, you get the option to get up, back to the map if you want to get it back to the map for whatever reason, or quit. I am gonna get up. Oh. Wow, <laughs> I went flying. I'm sorry, people who play as Lucas or Ness as a main, but seriously, I'm terrible with these characters. Let's grab the sticker real fast. There we go. Ugh, my gosh. So that was my first game over. Took about... I don't know what kind of percentage... Well, actually, I was at 50% last time I checked, so... 15%.
<laughs> I like that little subtle. Just a nice little subtle touch. I always liked it. And that sacrifice himself to save Lucas. That lightning bolt was so close, and yet, <laughs> seriously, it's just these little, little things that kind of slightly bother me, but not, it's just something that I consider a nitpick. Because I like these CGI cutscenes and all, but seriously, some of these are really, really weird of how they design them. But as you can tell, this is Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer, well, if you played Brawl, would have three Pokemon. Unfortunately, during Social Cemetery, he has to collect them. Which is actually not a really bad idea of a kind of a game mechanic for this adventure mode. It kind of adds something to it. it kind of adds a goal to Pokemon Trainer, because he wants his two missing Pokemon that you find in um, during the Social Cemetery mode that you would normally get during the actual game if you're not playing Social Cemetery mode. But regardless, though, this is Squirtle, who I don't think will make an appearance in Super Smash Bros. 4, but if he does, then I won't really mind if he makes a return. Because out of the three, I actually like Charizard and Squirtle, but out of the others, I don't... Of course. Yeah, um, this is a golden hammer that's squeaky. A squeaky golden hammer is bad. Oh yeah, another thing to note is that you can swim in this game and introduce them brawl. Okay, I'm purposely taking damage here so that way I can... Lucas! Oh my gosh. I hate the, the enemies that we were facing there. Oh my gosh! Look how much damage I have. You, This is like the only spot that you would normally probably have this much damage in such so a cemetery. And still live. That's the thing. 500% and I'm still living. C stick up smash spam. Spamming attacks is something that I do best. I could spam surf, but I don't. Okay. This probably like, confused some first players. You're supposed to go up in there. It didn't really confuse me, probably because I actually watched the playthrough, but still. Time to beat some... Voltorbs? I don't know. These guys like to multiply. And... This could get a little annoying at times, because you're trying to defeat them, but then they just multiply over and over again. They they stop, but it kind of gets annoying. Oh, no! Electricity is bad for water types. No, 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 no! I just want the trophy. Why do I want a trophy that I already have? Why did I go that way? Go away, Bytens. No one likes you. Go away, Primid. No one really likes you. Go away, Ticken. Let's go in here. Hopefully there's some healing item. Please let there be a healing item. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I don't think that one breaks, but there is one... In that room that break. I think the the little ones break. Okay, so I'm stuck with Lucas and Squirtle for one. Well, we can Squirtle, rather. Uh, go away, Flu. No one really likes you. Up, uh, attack, spam. Because that seems to be working. What in the world? Did I exit? Did I use up my jump? I think I did. Oh! 
Nope. There we go. Okay. There's... What's in here? Oh, a key trophy. Uh, we haven't encountered them yet, but there are keys in such a necessary. Now I gotta avoid these tickens and get out of here. <sighs> yeah, these levels don't really take very long if you just speed run and avoid the enemies, but for the most part... Eh, some of them can be pretty long. That one was... There's a one lengthy one that's coming up, but... Yeah. With the intense mode, that doesn't really help because then you're dying over and over and over again, and I'm doing the intense mode. I'm surprised I'm not dying as much as I am. I mean, I've been dying a lot. Here is a level that I'm dreading a lot, and I think this is one that I always stop at every single time. The Battlefield Fortress. I'm gonna save it on the next recording session. Because, honestly, this level will take a long time. And oh boy, this is gonna take a long time. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this first recording session of Super Smash 4. Yeah, I stopped right there. I actually uh, got pretty far beforehand. Hmm. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, um, you know what, let's go ahead and remove one of these. Uh, let's remove this one. Wow, I actually did a lot better that time. Hmm. I would have thought it. Alright, so yeah, that's actually my very first profile. That was gonna be a, uh, co-op profile that we made, that my sister and I made a long time ago, but we never finished it. Yeah, I played it quite a lot, <laughs> didn't I? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time when we continue on to the Battlefield Fortress. The one of my most dreaded levels in the entire Subspace Emissary. So I'll see you all next time. Later. <laughs>